Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Initial DIY Mods. Today we're going to be putting together our Speedwino ECU pretty much from scratch, let's call it 90%, uh, and putting everything together, soldering it up, and giving it a little bit of a test on the, uh, the software that we have to compile it and uh, to test it with Tuner Studio, which is the tuning software that we're going to use, which is going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and start with taking up most of our crap. So one thing that we've added to this kit uh, I kind of miscalculated and didn't realize that we needed to buy the uh, the processor, the main processor for this, uh, which is the Mega 2560, which is basically what runs the majority of, uh, of all the processing and stuff. And this also allows us to connect to the computer via this USB cable, um, which is pretty cool. So it's this square USB cable from the old printer days. So we've got that. We also added in a few optional modules. So this module here, a little bit difficult to see, but it is a Bluetooth module. So this is a serial converter. So instead of having an old fashioned serial cable, which looks similar to the uh, VGA cables, except it's white and a little bit different pin setup, uh, we're actually able to connect to Bluetooth, which allows us to set up our dashboard running off of uh, off Bluetooth, um, either like a shadow dash app uh, or a couple of other apps that, that do the same thing, which basically allow me to run the dashboard. Some of the other options we got here, this one. Ah, so this little adapter set up here, this lets us run our stepper motor. The idle control on the 4G63 is via a stepper motor. Um, so in order to keep that function, I went ahead and got a stepper control module to be able to, to regulate the idle. This I'll put on top of the Oreos just because we're prepared and snacks. So here's our board. This is what we're going to be soldering to. And then this is our case. We're going to wait till the very end for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to cut with a uh, Dremel just a little rectangular uh, hole so we can feed our 40-pin um, connector out of there as well as our power wires and stuff uh, and then our map sensor and everything. So we'll, we'll have all that stuff set up here later and we'll figure out where we need to drill the holes once everything's set up. So we can just set that aside for now. Okay, resistors. So these are all our resistors. I'm gonna work from the smallest bag to the largest bag. The only reason I'm doing that is because it'll let me clear these bags out of the way because my OCD is exploding right now. This one's got 12, fuck you. So now we're going to start with our resistors and we're just going to solder all these in place. And again, it's similar to Legos and color by numbers, um, except in this case we are soldering by numbers. We are going to access our Arduino IDE software. This allows us to get into the Arduino settings and programming and things like that. 
I'm not a programmer, so this is all way beyond my head. Pretty much just following the steps they laid out in the forums and in the, uh, the wiki that they have set up online. So as you see, it's a blank code. You don't have to compile or make anything. You just go over to your uh, wherever your tuning is set up, your folder on your hard drive, access that folder, then go to your Speedduino folder, and then go down to your Speedduino IDE, which is your Arduino file uh, folder, or file. Run that. And there it is. So, here's basically the code. Now we don't have to mess with it at all, unless we really know what we're doing and want to customize stuff, but like I said, I'm not a computer programmer or a software engineer in any sense, and I don't know anything about code beyond basic scripts and stuff. Um, so again, we don't really need to do much. The first thing we have to do though is we have to go to tools, and we can go down to um, the board and configure what board we have. Now the board that I have plugged in here this is a Mega 2560, so just go down to Arduino Mega 2560, click that, pretty much done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect the Arduino that we have here. We're just gonna wait a second here for everything to compile. Computer recognize the attachment. If it needs to, it might need to install some drivers. We need to go to Tools. And now we need to go to port, and we need to pick our COM6 port. Um, this is basically just telling it what USB um, and serial converter it's hooked up to. When we hit upload, it's actually going to compile and upload. A lot of lights strobing on the board. And that's it. Now it's done. So our firmware is now loaded into our Mega 2560 Arduino board. Uh, so now we can hook it up to the ECU and get this thing plugged into uh, Tuner Studio, which is going to be the uh, application that will run our car. All right, so now this is done. We can actually close out of this. And we don't need to eject anything, I don't believe. We just unplug it. And now we're ready to plug it into our ECU here. Just make sure everything lines up and be somewhat mindful of what you're squeezing on the other side. Oh, those ones are sharp. It's like Mortal fucking Kombat. All right, so now we've got everything hooked in and now we should be able to plug in with USB here. Connect to the computer, should be able to get it set up in Tuner Studio, so. Let's open that up. Now, I've already configured my project for the most part. For now, we're gonna do the serial interface, which is gonna be COM6, which is the USB that I'm plugged into here. And this has a serial converter on it, so we don't have to have any sort of special cables. And currently, I'm not, I don't have the Bluetooth module set up. Uh, I'm gonna set that up later, because I need that to run the dash, but for right now, don't need any of that. All right. It looks like it's connecting. Your difference between your offline tune and which was saved on your controller for advanced differences and reports on the side. We are going to hit yes. Sending tune to controller. Now this is the base map that I have in here. Um, it's just kind of what came with it just to get it running um, on a very bare bones. I don't think there's any sort of timing control or anything like that. It's mostly just to get it started up. Message. All right, tuning VE table. All right, that looks a lot better. Definitely a bit more representative of a real VE table. We've got our pressures and everything set up. Multiply by map, include AFR directly. But right now, the tune is in the ECU and we're hooked up to the tuning software, so as far as that's concerned, we're doing all right. And I don't see any errors on the uh, on the code either. As far as like my wiring and everything. So now let's get some of our other modules figured out and hooked up, so we can get Bluetooth working for our dash, uh, and we can tune off of our dashboard instead of tuning off a laptop inside of the car. 
Um, and then we can also get our stepper motor for our idle speed control set up as well. Uh, and then that way we can get our idle running instead of worrying about a uh, set idle. We can have variable idle so that we can increase our idle if load increases, temperature increases. We can have our idle increase for warm up. And then once warm up is done, we can have the idle decrease. Um, so we can have a lot of cool stuff set up with that. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, once again, please subscribe, follow the build. If you have any comments, please leave them below. You know what to do. We're coming out with videos weekly. Check out the website and check out the store as well. We're going to be doing some uh, adjustable clutch rods for the Genesis Coupe. So that'll be uh, coming out here. I've already got the parts ordered. Um, I decided to bump it up to 40 since I've been getting quite a lot of emails on that. Uh, look out for that and basically just subscribe.